Welcome back to our channel. In this video I am going to take you along my design process for our camper van conversion. I've gotten a lot of questions about how I use the free 3D program SketchUp to design our camper van. So we'll dive in. My main design strategy is do as much thinking as possible beforehand so the execution of your project goes faster. There's a saying, luck is where preparation meets opportunity. So always try to be prepared, you might get lucky. It took us about 7 months to fine tune our design to our needs. And to be honest this included the design of the electrical system. And as this was completely new to me this took a lot of time. First step of any design is making a list of must haves and nice to haves. This is very personal, these are our considerations, your own may of course differ a lot. We want the stealth camper to make it safer to park and easier to stay the night in suburban areas. We want to keep the van looking like a normal van, so nobody expects it to be a camper van. Maybe we overdid this a bit. Being stealthy and well insulated also means as little windows as possible. We did one in the sliding door. We want to be able to stay off grid for 3 to 4 days in cloudy circumstances. We also plan to visit destinations in the northern UK and Scandinavia in winter. So the right electrical system and insulation is important in our case. We are a family of three and we don't want to have to convert our seating area into a sleeping space every night. So one permanent double bed and one permanent bed for our daughter. Plus the option to take a friend along. So four sleeping spots in total. And we plan to do outdoor activities a lot. Mountain biking and hiking in colder wetter climates means mud. This means a shower and a toilet in a space that doubles as a drying room. Cold and wet weather also means enough living space inside the van in case the weather gets too bad. The combinations of a stealth camper and mountain biking means an internal storage of mountain bikes using a bike slide. Of course a small kitchen and a seating area with a table. Optimizing all these requirements and making a few sketches and preliminary designs made us realize we need a large van. Our van has a cargo bay of 470cm long, 187cm wide and a height of 214cm. At this point I made a design document in Excel to document all my research and to do calculations, budgets, planning etc. I also did a quick design of our van using Excel. So you can actually use MS Excel as a quick design tool. Make the cell square and assume that every cell is 10 cm. You can make a quick design sketch pretty fast. If you want to be more accurate, assume every cell has 5 cm or even 1 cm. So horizontally I need 47 squares as the cargo bay is 470 cm long. Vertically I need 18 squares to approximate the 176 cm of the width. Then it's a matter of coloring in the different elements of your design. By now I know our camper van by heart, but the design process to get things exactly the way you want takes some time. After finishing the floor plan I also make a ceiling design where I can plan where the upper cabinets will be built. So using Excel this way is a fast method of trying different designs to get the van you want. Now we have the exact dimensions and basic quick design in Excel, we are diving into SketchUp to get a detailed design of our van. I won't bore you doing a complete design, but focus on how I use SketchUp. I am certainly not an advanced user. I just know how I use the program and I'll share a few tips and tricks. One of the most important things I do is use groups, so grouping individual objects together. SketchUp is a free online 3D modeling program, link in the description. You'll have to make a free account to be able to use it. So create a new file. And what the hell is this soy boy? This used to be a girl. Okay, anyway. So, uh, right, first step, the 3D warehouse. There are a lot of ready-made models of vans available in here. I am looking for a high top sprinter like ours. Long story short, back in 2019 we designed our van on the basis of a model downloaded from the 3D warehouse. But it has now disappeared. 
even online this type of fan is rare. I tried downloading a few other ready-made sprinter fans, but the inside dimensions of the cargo bay weren't the right ones. Suppose you download a fan, usually it's a group. You can explode this group so the components become visible. You might need to explode a few times more because there might be more groups integrated into each other. As a ready-made fan isn't available, so I'll make a new design from scratch. Use the rectangle tool. Click to drag a decent rectangle, then you can type the exact dimensions in the box dimensions at the bottom right. Type the length and the width separated by a comma and press enter. In SketchUp I've set my preferences to use millimeters as the format. Now I have an empty canvas for the camper van design. Now I need to draw a frame that matches the profile of the walls and ceiling. Again I draw a rectangle with the width of the floor of 187cm and the ceiling height of 214cm. The top part of the profile around the ceiling I am just winging for this example. I know the wall slope inward near the top. Now I need to mirror this profile on the left to the right. There must be an easy way and a special function for this. I just measured and copied a few points and drew two new lines. Now delete the parts of the rectangle we don't need and delete the fill, so you only have the frame left. Make a group of the frame and rotate frame upright. I am always having trouble getting the direction of the rotation right. Click on the point you want to rotate, then move the mouse to get the right plane in which you want to rotate the object. I need to rotate along the red axis to put the frame upright. Now make a few copies and put the frames in place to get a 3D impression of how much room you have to design your camper van. Now straight on to the most important feature of our design, the double bed. Again draw a rectangle in the right dimensions. Then use the push and pull feature to give the rectangle a height, so you can make a 2D object into a 3D object. Again you can type in the height in the right bottom box. I want the mattress to be 20 cm high. Now we are giving the mattress a color. On the materials in the menu on the right select the color you want to use. Use the fill feature and fill in every surface. Now make the mattress into a group. Now rotate and put the mattress in place. I put it on the floor then move it upward. In our case we want an internal storage for our mountain bikes. It's safer because mountain bikes are expensive and it helps the stealthy look of the camper not to have bikes on the outside. The height of the mountain bikes determines the height of the bed. I download a bike from the 3D warehouse. It comes as a group so I explode the bike and remove the front wheel. Then I make a group of the bike again without the front wheel. Now I need to rotate the bike so the front fork is at the same level at the back wheel. I draw another rectangle to act like a temporary reference. Now place the bike in the garage of the camper van and adjust the height of the bed. Now I'll get started on the rest of the design. Again use groups all the time. Now I will make a few boxes using the dimensions of my quick design in Excel. I make the ground plane using the rectangular feature again, then use the push pull feature again to give it a height. Make into a group, fill in the color with the material you want. Now I have these main parts of the interior of the van in place, I am going to design the specific structures in more detail. For instance I want to make a detailed design of the bed structure. Now I am going to make a beam, I am going to copy again and again to design the structure around the bed. Again make it into a group, give it a separate color. Now place the beam in the right location. Now double click the beam and you see you can edit the group. Use the push and pull feature to change the length of the beam. Now copy the beam and put them on the other corners. Once you have these beams as groups you can rotate them and change the length. 
This way in our original design I made a very detailed design of our bed, to contemplate all sorts of ways of building this with as little battens and beams as possible, mainly to save weight and still make the bed strong enough. Now I make a new beam that's smaller I want to design the floor beams with. I type in 25 by 32 mm. Use push and pull to adjust the length, make a group, choose a color. And I will place a few beams on the floor just as an example. In our original design we made a very detailed floor design. In this design we determined exactly where we wanted the floor beams to be able to firmly fix our interior to. In between the battens we placed a rigid insulation foam board. On top we put 12mm plywood, so we do not only have the 12mm floor plate as a basis for the interior but the floor plus the 27mm beams which are glued and screwed into the metal bottom of the van. This way our interior is really well anchored to the van. Plus this method is weight friendly. We put in more battens where we walk, less battens in all other places where we will never put any real weight on. So having these flexible beams at hand to design with works very fast and you can experiment with the way you want to build your interior. Every bit of thinking you do now in this design phase saves time during your building phase. Now I want a duvet on the bed. Go to the 3D warehouse, download a bed, explode the bed, then use the duvets, rotate and put the duvets on the bed. Then adjust the scale using the scale function and then move the pillows in place. You see me using the menu to select the tools I'm using. To speed up your drawing learn a few shortcut keys. To activate the select feature press the spacebar. To activate move press M. Push pull is activated by pressing P. There are more shortcuts but these I use the most. So I think this example should make clear the way I use SketchUp. It might not be the best way, but it works for me. Of course there are loads of SketchUp tutorials on YouTube already you can watch if you want to know more. The purpose of this video was to show you my design process in SketchUp of our campervan conversion. Hopefully you got some useful tips for your own van design. Thanks for watching, please give a like and subscribe if you like this content and I will see you on the next one.